They received grants to make environmental improvements to their homes, but were shocked to learn that it would count as taxable income. But there's now new hope for tax relief for these Long Island residents. Here's CBS 2's Carolyn Gossoff. This is 90% clean water that's going back into your environment compared to the nitrates. Louis Castronova upgraded his old septic system for one reason. We're going to make a difference. We're going to make water cleaner. But the nearly $30,000 upgrade paid with grant money ended up raising that year's taxes $4,000. That affected me as a middle class homeowner. This could have been college. More than 3,000 Suffolk homeowners are in the same boat. They signed up for Suffolk County grants to replace polluting cesspools. Then the IRS counted the grants as taxable income, even though the installer was also taxed. Critics say the IRS ruling hampers a critically important environmental fix. Unfortunately, we are drinking and swimming in our own wastewater. Red tide, brown tide, mahogany tide, blue green algae are all caused by this wastewater. And it's ruining our way of life. People aren't going to do this. They're going to say, don't hook me up. Senator Chuck Schumer says he's found a workaround, the USDA. He's asked the agency to formally determine the grants protect and preserve the environment, making them tax exempt. This was a screw up by the IRS. They were too chicken to admit their mistake. Now we're going to force them to admit their mistake by having the USDA send them this letter. Not happening anyplace else in the country that we're aware of. If you get a grant to change out your this septic a, system, right. you get dinged. The tax burden is slowing upgrades Suffolk County wide. Only 70 homeowners per year have That's signed up. There are 360,000 homes with aging cesspools. This is as critical as it gets to our future. County officials call it incomprehensible double taxation on grant money that is not a windfall for any homeowner, only a win for the environment. In Suffolk County, Long Island, Carolyn Gossoff, CBS 2 News. And there is no word yet from the USDA on Senator Schumer's request.